Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about the unique boxes that I make. I'm going to show you one and then I'm going to, at the end of the video, show you multiple boxes to give you an idea of the variety that I make. As an artist, I don't repeat things. I get bored with that process, so everything is unique when I make it. This one I'm starting with oak sides. This is the bottom of the box. These are oak but they're stained with a dark walnut. I used quarter inch plywood that I stained with a early American stain. Minwax makes that. And this will be inset uh, inside the bottom of the uh, box. That's what I'm doing now. Here I am sizing up the plywood, again quarter inch plywood. I'm going to make a top out of this and I'm going to etch it, which you'll see later on in the video. Now I had to decide between that leather piece to the top right of the screen. I was thinking about doing that because that's really a nice piece too. But I got a new laser engraver, which is very cool. So I thought I would try to etch the top and I think it turned out pretty nice. You'll see that later on in the video. After cutting the plywood to size, I was trying to think of how to make the top. Obviously it needed to be framed in somehow to hold on to the box itself. So this took me a little bit of thinking and I was here I'm just checking the square. I bought this black stuff, here it is. You, It's supposed to go inside of a jewelry box but I don't know if the glue I used didn't work right, but I went through this process and added multiple coats, But and I know you're supposed to have some kind of air gun to push it on, but it just didn't turn out. But I did make an attempt, and, and that's the process of being an artist. You try something, it doesn't work, you try something else, and that's just the way it goes. So after a few attempts, I finally came up with a nice etching that I thought would be fitting for this rustic kind of box that I'm making. It's a bear head. I think it's a grizzly bear. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. But I also show you here what I decided to do. On top of this frame, I decided to attach the, the box lid itself. What I'll do is cut down about a half an inch to remove the top of the box. You'll see that later I do it on the table saw.
So here's where I work on attaching the top to the base. I'm framing out the top. I'm making measurements right now, but I'll frame out the top on the etching side. And then I add a side piece that overlaps about a quarter of an inch, and that will hold it secure on the box itself. Here you can start to see how that little lip will go around the box and hold it in place. Once I finished taping, clamping, gluing up the sides for the top, I went to the bottom and I didn't like the way the bottom was working. I didn't like the funky uh, black stuff on there. 
I don't remember the name of it. Anybody else does, please leave it in the comments. Um, so I decided to put suede, leather suede, on the interior part instead of that black stuff. So I took the bottom apart and I pulled out the bottom and I erased and removed that black junk that was on there. I sanded it off and I put the uh, leather on it. So before I put the box back together and put the bottom insert in place, I wanted to make sure that it fit right in the top. I could easily work and change the box now, which you'll see I have to. It's just a little snug. And I wanted to have a little bit of space to be able to take that top on and off more easily. So I'm sizing it up right now. Now I flipped over the top and I'm going to put a frame all the way around the top that will be slightly inset from those side pieces I put on. And I just did that for aesthetic values. So here's the final top with all the framing and the little edge that will hold the box in place. I love the contrast. I think it works really well and I especially like the way that bare etching looks. So now I'm just finishing up the base, adding another top coat of black walnut, dark walnut, as well as the early American on the bottom. Again, I love the contrast of things. This time when I glued it up, I just tacked those corners down with a couple of nails to really secure that base so it wasn't going anywhere. And as a finish, I put on, it's a, called Feed and Wax. It's beeswax and orange oil. Leaves a really nice finish. It darkens things up, which I was okay with, but I really like the way this got finished. Like I said in the beginning, each one of the boxes that I make, each one of the items that I make, is, they're all one of a kind. I don't repeat myself. Sometimes they may look similar, but for the most part, they're all unique and individual. Here are a whole slew of boxes that I've made over the years, just to give you an idea of the things that I've tried, done, made, and sold. 
I appreciate you watching this to the end, and I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button. If you really liked it and want to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications. I'm trying to create a video once a week, if not once a week, every two weeks. I'm doing my best. But thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.